Josh here. And Michelle. And we are Adventures Ahead. Yes. And today we're talking about Cruise Chatter 101. Lord. Would you take a Premier or Ultra Cruise if offered? Okay, so this is what you can... Uh, so a Premier and an Ultra Cruise is what you get if you uh, gamble in the casino. All right, Michelle? Yes. And it all depends on how much you gamble, what you gamble, what you do, slots, tables... What you put in. Yeah, what you're spending, your points, all this, all goes in consideration for that. Um, now, we we gambled with Carnival for oh, several cruises before we even got our first invitation to Premier, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was our sixth or seventh cruise before we even... Yes. But some people get them right, their, first their first cruise. It depends on how much you gamble. Yeah. Right, and we gamble pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's extravagant. Um, but... So, the things with Premier Cruises are, you get a free room, basically. Mm -hmm. You get a free room. Or a discounted or room. Or a discounted room. Either one. You normally get, like, on free... Onboard credit. Yep, onboard credit for the casino. You get casino cash. You get drinks on us for you and your companion. Typically. Who, who, yeah, who's ever going. You get, like, prizes. Uh, or you get, like, gifts. Yeah. To your room. Um, you also, there's lots of giveaways in the casino on a premier cruise and, um, it's same with ultra. Um, now a premier, the gifts are, uh, they're, they're decent, but like on an ultra, they're even better. Yeah. It's like crazy. Yeah. We heard that ultra gifts are really good. We've never been on a premier or an ultra, um, that we've been actually on it. We have been on a premier. We have but... been on a premier, but we weren't invited guests. We were just, just happened to be on a premier. Right. Now, the thing is, yes, it sounds great. You get a lot of perks. They treat you good. You get a lot of good things. There's lots of drawings to win free stuff, um, all that. But there are some drawbacks. Yeah. And what are those? I'd what are some drawbacks? The if you like to play in the casino, even just casually, good luck finding a seat of any kind. Right. Um, the casino is, is always busy packed yes so like if like when, when me and michelle were on a premiere and see we've heard this from other people that have been on premieres and ultras yeah so it was just, i mean it's our experience but it's also other people's yep. experience and um the casino is always busy table games are busy slot machines are nuts like if you like I, and also the people on these cruises are uh, that premiere that are premiere guests or ultra guests they're on there you know, not For to spend. A reason. Yeah, they're not going to be spending like a thousand. They're not going to have a thousand dollar bankroll. They're going to have a ten thousand yeah. dollar bankroll or more. And um, typically, yeah. right? And they're I'd say the majority of people have more than a thousand dollars. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I would say several thousand, multiples of thousand. And uh, and they're sitting there at the machines, not just for 20 minutes. They're sitting there for a long time. Hours. Really. We had a hard time getting machines that we wanted to get because people would sit at them forever, mm -hmm. wouldn't they? It's like, God, run out of money. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, you'd go over there and you'd see, oh, well, they're down to the last $10. Oh, they and just then you look again, oh, there's 500 eight. more. You son of a... <laughs> so... But yeah, no, that's seriously realistic. And um, also, the wait staff is overwhelmed for sure. You are your wait staff's a lot slower because of just of the amount of people in there ordering drinks because they have all their drinks for free while right. they're in there. So, so I guess the real question is: Would you go on a ultra or premier cruise if you were offered one, Josh? Man, I'd I think so. I think I would try it. And I, I, I know, and I know, I understand, and I know, and I know what to expect. Yeah, I'd say I'd go in with different expectations, and honestly, if I got a really cheap cruise, I probably would just plan not to gamble as much, or stay up late and gamble in the middle of the night. Yeah. Um, and I would probably utilize the decks and pools more, because they're less busy, I think. Oh, yeah, I mean, the casino is busy Carly. a lot. <laughs> oh, dog's just running around like crazy. Um... But no, the casinos are busy a lot, so it's hard to get in. And uh, like I said, if if you want to gamble after, I don't know, 7 o'clock at night, good luck. Uh, unless you're staying up. I mean, one night I was on a premiere. I stayed up to about 3.30 in the morning. And from about 2.30, right about 2, 2.30, it started to thin out. And I could get on machines I wanted to get on. But 
Um, but yeah, especially on port days. Um, usually it clears out earlier on port days on normal cruises because people port, you know, port you know, the nights before the ports because people got to go to bed for excursions. But these ones, they're staying up. They're staying up till one, two. The casinos two. are open 24 hours. Yeah, the casinos are open late. They don't close like on other ships. Um, so. I'd say if we were going with friends, I definitely wouldn't want to go because that's something that we enjoy doing with friends. Right. So if it was just me and you, we could probably get away with it. Uh, going on a Premier Ultra. But if we were going with other people, definitely. Yeah, good not. luck wanting to sit next to your friends playing slots. Yeah, that's not going to happen. No. So it's just it's just a different experience, and like I said, I would go into it with that. I would I would ask other people. I would you know what I mean because I've I, I we've talked to several other people, and the experience sounds about the same. Yeah. So would you would you would you go on one? I told you if it was just me and you, yes, and I would plan on not gambling as much. Okay. And, would you? But the thing is, to, you got to be in there to, for the win the draw. I know, but it's a cheap cruise, so why wouldn't I go? Right. Yeah. Yeah, because it's 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 really good deals, and if you're premier, you get on. Yeah, you have priority boarding. Right, you get on early, but b- uh, right after the diamond and platinum. Mm-hmm. So, because um, so I remember, you? I was like, you didn't answer these? my question. I was, I remember when we got on the sunshine, we had fashion the fun, and I'm like, why are all these people getting on? And then someone's like, well, they're freaking premier guests. They get on before fashion the fun. I'm like. Huh? And it was like 200 people. Yeah. I was like, what the heck? Remember that? Yeah. Okay, what was the question? Would you go? You didn't yes. answer. I would go on a premiere and I would also go on an ultra. I would just uh, have different expectations for the casino and stuff. And um, yeah. We might I, save money. Yeah, that'd be weird. You go on an ultra. I mean, and also you're getting, you're. I mean, most of the time you're getting casino cash. Um. I know our friends got like 500 bucks for the casino, so on a premiere. But all right, well, let us know in the comments below. Have you ever been on a premiere ultra cruise? For would Carnival. you go again? If you haven't, would you think consider it? And if you've been on a ship that had a premiere ultra going on and you were just the normal guest, what'd you think of it? We wouldn't. What? I wouldn't. I would actively avoid that. I would actively avoid a cruise if I knew it was premiere or. Or Ultra, and I wasn't one of the Premier Ultra I, guests. I would avoid it. Yeah, yep. Because you're not getting a discounted cruise. And, and you got to deal with all the busyness. <laughs> yep. Also, I want to say one more thing. Okay. I feel like the... I don't want to... I mean, this is the way... This is how I had an experience. The people that are on that Premier Ultra, I feel like they feel they're more... They feel like they're more entitled to, like, things in this casino. They are. Because they're they a Premier like or Ultra guest. And it's kind of like they, I ran into several people that had just jerk attitudes. Seriously. That's where the guy told me that I was playing blackjack one. Oh. Wrong. So, whatever. But, okay. Well, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.